The new weapon that we'll be highlighting is the BR-14 weapon over here. It's a marksman rifle. It's accurate. It has armor pen, uh, penetrating rifle as well through the medium armor penetrating factors. So it should destroy some of the medium sized enemies quite quickly and efficiently. I'm a bit worried about the size of its magazine and the effectiveness against large groups because it doesn't have exploding rounds or any type of area effect damage. It just shoots one area, one opponent and does a lot of damage. So let's see what it does in the gameplay and have a bit of fun with this right now. Yeah, let's jump into the action. Hell dies too. I'm straight into it as well. Wait, medium armor pen doesn't kill the guy? Okay, this is really bad. Okay. So he's got medium armor pen, but the damage feels somewhat lackluster already. It takes two shots to kill a standing neutral enemy, like a low infantry enemy. That's a lot. We can try on the Hulk Bruiser as well. This might be a little bit harder to hit with this. Oh shit, what a Okay, I've, I've been gone for too too long. What the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, I can't fight that shit. I can't fight that shit. No, please. Climb. <laughs> oh, this weapon's kind of underwhelming right now to me. I'm a bit devastated that I even unlocked it. Can't force to, but you know what I mean. From what I've seen right now, I am... Oh, medium armor pen doesn't penetrate through this? Oh, kill that shit, man. Get it out of here. Okay, got it. I haven't seen that one before. Two to three bullets for the little guys. That's insane. But this not going through this in any capacity is shocking to me. It can destroy its leg parts. That means anything to you. I might die here, actually. Uh, yes, I use the nuke for that. I use the nuke. <laughs> I knew I had to reset. No HP. I don't know if I chose my booster correctly. Oh my god, dudes. Okay, we should look at my dead body the whole time. We're we playing? We're gaming? Hello? Game, please. I'm dead. <laughs> That's the reason why. <laughs> so yeah, I think the weapon has an awkward scenario. It has lackluster damage already. Like, I, just from shooting a couple times, its minimum armor penetration doesn't feel like it's doing its job. It feels like it's light armor penetration instead. Which makes the weapon just redundant at that point. But th that there, spamming it, doesn't feel that bad. But it's a whole clip to destroy one Devastator. Oh, that's kind of tough. That is kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. Very devastated. And it has a lot of sway being a master rifle. Also, being crown shield prone will help out with that a bit more. The modifications you got on this is from semi to auto, and the zoom in to be further than what it is. It's not bad, but I'm telling you, the damage numbers on this is really weak. Like if I shoot above its head. Or his glowing eyes, it should be a headshot. But this weapon does not work the way I want it to. So this is going to be now redundant. So I was using it as a replacement to like, say, a uh, laser beam and such. You know? Using a full auto, we'll give it a go. Okay, half my shots are going to land in full auto. <laughs> oh, dude. It's got recoil, like a lot of recoil, even when crouched. So you have to make, you have to use like fortified or some of the other passives that reduce the recoil. I just got comboed. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm not liking this weapon. This weapon needs a buff. It is dog shit. This could be the worst weapon I've ever seen released in the war bonds, comparable to the last seven dagger, but le less than that because it's a primary weapon. 
So it's a primary weapon. It's supposed to be your primary weapon. You're going to use it in every situation as much as possible until you run out of ammo. In this case, I am going to die before I run out of ammo because the enemies will still be in front of me, hitting me as I'm wasting my bullets. It's really weak. Like, even the max size, I feel like even an auto max size with recoil, half the shots land, and then even then, the max size is really, like, small. So, I don't know. Not liking this. This feels like torture. This already feels like torture. Try to complete main missions. And dodge everything else. The best part about Hell Dives too, the game keeps building upon itself further and further. For the better. Sometimes for the worst in this weapon. <laughs> but go for the best. Always do. Calling in reinforcement. We, have, we do have third mate uh, third mate needs as well with us. We try them out. We'll do a separate video when we do, do like full build against it. We got the new armor set as well. It's not bad. I don't mind the style of it. Could be better. I was hoping for a new passive though. New passives create new chances for build potential and just more unique gameplay, which I think the game needs more than ever before. So a bit devastated on the armors being pretty much similar to what we already have passive wise. Just styles different, obviously. But this weapon has been the biggest disappointment. I was hoping for a medium armor penetrating weapon to be actually good. It's over there. I gotta go this way. You know, I was hoping for it to be really, really good. So you can actually use it as like a main weapon. Because my main weapon is the last uh, 16 sickle. Or last 17 sickle, whatever the name is. The sickle weapon is one of the best in the game. It's efficient. It has good ammo, aka usage. It just feels useful at all times. Even though it doesn't destroy hulks with it or, and such. I have other weapons that can do that, as you should. But for the primary weapon to be this bad, it's awful. Look at that. I don't know. A whole clip for just two or three neutral enemies, small ones. Not looking good for us. Not looking good. The only use case scenario for this weapon right now is that it technically could be more efficient at destroying limbs from devastators and such. So not killing a devastator, but only dismantling them and taking away certain parts of the actual kit so they don't do damage towards you. That's the only use case scenario I can see right now, which is kind of devastating. Not gonna lie. Only six mags, oh my God. I didn't realize how shit it was. Six mags only. It's still one-shot headshot, but I mean, drive weapons are. Engaging We've lost our whole team, pretty much. Everybody's leaving. There's patrol outside the compound. That shit's there. Some of the shots are hitting and the other shots are deflecting. What can I heal? Oh, thank you. I missed it. It went underneath it. Oh, I feel so weird using this weapon. I, c I can't tell if I killed it or the Devastator killed it. That's so hard to tell. The third nades bounce off the actual enemies? Really? That's interesting. I wonder if it's a certain throw distance. 
in order to do so. And if the new armor server assisted is like, uh, the new armor has server assisted and it's ruining the actual thermite needs. Kind of awful. Let's see. It bounced off him. Oh no, he sucked him. He sucked him. I thought they all just frozen in time because of the bloody stasis that was right next to them. Doesn't seem too bad. Kind of like it. Their main needs might be really good. I have to do further testing on it. Oh, I have to go that way either way. I'm kind of stuck. They found me. This feels horrid. Oh my god, the full recall is actually dog shit. I uh, prefer maybe single tapping it. Too many saved me there. Thank you. Oh, you can cook the nade and throw it? Nice, I didn't know that. I've been playing too much Ram of Six Siege, so whenever I hold an nade in my head, it doesn't cook. It's a Ram of Six Siege. I got him. You were called him back up. Three shots, Mars. <laughs> There's no way. Is this a new Blizzard event? Oh, cool. That's nice. I like this. This new event's nice. I've been away for one update, and so much feels different. I love it. There's still things that feel the same. And I still think the replayability is something to question. But if they keep adding more stuff at a crazy pace, it could be really good. But right now, this this weapon sucks. I'm not going to vouch for it in any way. It's dog shit. That's my official review of the weapon. Absolutely awful. Has some benefits, but the benefits are so bad that it doesn't even matter. The so needs though, uh, with more testing, that could be really good. And ru running engine armor passive could be really, really nice. Who thinks to give this weapon six mags only? That's bonkers. Well, the last 17 sickle, ha uh, sickle has six mags and it's more efficient. I don't get it. So it looks like some of the mates on the same page with this weapon, they don't like it. They're, they're not vibing with it at all. Which I completely understand. Looks like so we're going both going the same way. That's nice. The thermites work against the fabricate as well. I'm still shocked that this doesn't break that. I'm still shocked. Like really devastating. Like scouts are the weakest thing in the game, and this weapon makes it seem like they're the best opponent in the game to verse. Or uh, like you have your more most feared opponent is the scouts. That's just kind of weird to have in a video game, <laughs> or in this game. Wait, I had the wrong marker. Oh, it was not my marker. It was someone else's marker. No wonder why. They can play to that, though. We may need this super material. I used 10 last time. So, Warhammer 40k skins. You know what? Yes, please. I was watching a Fallout TV show on Amazon. They talked about the Brotherhood of Steel. It was in the trailer. And they showcased uh, aspects of the power armor and such. And the ranking system and everything. Like, you know what? This kind of feels like Warhammer a bit. <laughs> like, think about it. It's like Warhammer. And this game needs Warhammer love. It would work so well. This compound is new to me. So this seems like an... A uh, way for those flying machines to come out. From Skynet. <laughs> it's like the emitter. Where they build them and they release them.
They re actually recognize me. What the hell? Well, that cooked me there. Yeah, this story's not going too well for us. Fucking joke. Oh my god, what a joke. Delete this weapon. This weapon doesn't exist to me. After this game, this does not exist. Worst weapon in the game, by far. It's just as bad as Concussive. But this Concussive has synergy. This has nothing. Nothing going for it. We got seven reinforcement cells, so we're not too bad. Breach end game. There was a pulse of light in that distance right there. I'm hoping that's something else that isn't deadly. Oh, my my screen went white for a second too. Okay, game's a bit buggy. Yeah, the new Lage... Yeah, I agree. The new uh, Granny Launcher Pistol will be my most used weapon as a secondary, replacing the Redeemer. That's for sure. And then alongside that, the Explosive Crossbow, depending on how good it is and how effective it is to kill large units with, it might become mandatory. Depending on your build, of course. And then you can run supporting strategy weapons that are more uh, primary-like, like a machine gun and such in order to get some ongoing kills, but use your crossbow and your grenade pistol to do other utilities factors and destroy large opponents. That might be the case there. What a fucking joke. Oh, dude, this weapon sucks. The dev that made this weapon? What were you thinking? I get that it's supposed to be... Like, the, the only nuance to this weapon is that it's a marksman rifle that shoots like an LMG. That's a nuance, but it's dog shit. Doesn't do well in anything. Oh, uh, the crossbow doesn't do too well on large opponents. Okay, that's good to know. Well, time to run away. Actually, I feel bad. I'm going to drop his gear. You got it back. Nice. Try it against the bugs. It might be good at killing bugs because many of the bugs don't have uh, that much armor difference from light and even medium. It's not too many, but I still feel like the weapon will be not sufficient. Because some of the enemies here, like scouts, are very... Like, they feel like they have light armor. Or basic armor. But they're pretty much medium. Like those orange uh, bugs that you see. They're shield up when you try and shoot them. You know? This is terrifying. Like, Dare is already a problem. But with this weapon, it's 10 times the problem. So you get a good angle like that. So now this is where the medium armor pen comes into count. See that? Shooting its leg. But I don't think it's enough. That took a whole mag and nearly a half to do that. I don't know. It's like a unique way of killing the scouts and such, but is it enough? Like, does this look interesting to you? To be able to kill stuff like this? Is that interesting enough or compelling enough as gameplay perspective? Or gameplay loop that you would actually utilize more than once? 
This was not too bad, though. Ah, uh, so it's good against bugs, but dog shit against... You know why it's good against bugs? Because all the bugs have light armor. Like, any weapon, you bring a last 16 sickle. Oh, yeah, bring that weapon into it, and it does the exact same thing. I don't know, I don't understand this appeal. Oh, fucking game crashed. Oh, you know, that ain't it. That ain't it. You know what? Weapon sucks. I will never use this weapon again. And game crashing is just the icing on top. <laughs> if you made, I need to channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lord, he game subs, 4 10% off, and also beatarmerch.com. Show us for greatly appreciated.